We up in Harlem bringing people together, answering questions for the Jim Norton Show. Jimmy's getting to the bottom of this. What are you doing? My name's Rich Voss, and we're doing this for Vice.com, and we're doing a, 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 a what do you call it? On, on a, how are we doing, folks? I'm Rich Voss, and we're here in Harlem, and we're talking race relations. Okay, now this is, a, I got an easy question for you. What annoys you about white people? Um, walking through the hood at 12 o'clock at night. That's what the noise. Oh, when they walk through the hood at 12 o'clock at night? At 12 o'clock at night and they ain't buying no drugs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Name two things that annoy you about black people. There's got to be two things that annoy you. Um, I can't think like specifically black people things that annoy me. What's the most annoying thing about white people? That they scared of black people. All right, that's a fair answer. What annoys me about black people? Um... I don't know. I don't know that anything annoys me. Say when a black person comes to your house. Yes. And they leave the room. Yes. Do you make them clap so you know they're not stealing? No. You know what annoys me about white people? When they give you this face, it's the uncomfortable face that white people give us. Okay. They never give us in words. It's always in the face. Okay. This face right here. <laughs> I didn't do nothing to you. The well, annoying thing about white people, they don't tell you the truth, truth. They give you facial expressions that let you know they know about, but they're not really telling you. Like, black people, we get in your face. We're like, look, I don't mess with you. Get out of my face. Okay. Ah, it's not a game. White people go, hmm, we're going to look into that, which pretty means when they do this, with the head nod means you're fired. That's what it means. <laughs> and you don't find out to the end. <laughs> so you're Dominican. Yes. So you're from Dominica, right? From Dominican Republic. Oh, okay. I thought it was Dominica. What country are you from? From France. From where? From France. Okay, uh, I don't speak French, so I'm going to bring in an interpreter. Is that the right word, interpreter? Interpreter. Interp what is it? In I don't understand interpreter. I'm going to bring in an interpreter. That's how stupid I am. Would you rather be in a movie theater sitting behind, sitting in front of a row of black people or a row of white people? <laughs> sitting in front of? Oh, uh, behind. Like, they're behind, right behind you. I would rather white people sit behind me. Now, why is that, a man? All right, I'm black, so I, I'm allowed to say this. Black people are noisy in the movie theater. <laughs> yeah. We make too much goddamn noise. Okay, are black people too loud in the movie theater? Not that I'm aware of. You go to some movies and, and, and you want to react, or you want people to react with you because... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, some movies you want to cheer along yeah. with in the movie theater. Okay. You know, and let's be honest, the white people aren't going to be cheering along with you. They're not going to cheer, unless it's 12 years a slave. <laughs> Do you think we should give black people uh, re repra reparation for slavery? Reparations? Reparations. Uh, I said it wrong. Thank yeah. you for correcting me. How many, do you have a lot of white friends? Yes, I do. You find nothing annoying about black people? No, in fact, my sister-in-law is black and three of my nieces are also black. My brother calls me the whitest black girl he knows. <laughs> I listen to Tool, Nine Inch Nails, Soundgarden. Nice. Garden. nice. So you got Kurt Cobain, a tattoo of Kurt Cobain on your, on your calf. OK. I love white people. Do you personally get along with black Absolutely. people? Absolutely. I definitely I, I enjoy white people, man. Yeah. I enjoy people, period. Are you two married? We're thinking about it. Well, what's stopping you? <laughs> Would you like to get married? Yeah, I think we should get married. Will you marry me? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Seriously? Seriously. Yeah, totally. Okay. All right, nothing, so we're engaged. Nothing's stopping us. Is that the right word, interpretator? Yeah. That was great. <laughs> that was, I think, my favorite part of that. There's two things I loved in that. There's three, three, literally two and a half hours of hilarious stuff from these guys. Was when, you, Rich, you're interviewing the French guy, and you say, uh, interpretator, and he goes, what? And you go, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> like, you ask the guy who doesn't speak English how to say <laughs> interpret, interpreter, and then your face, while they're proposing, <laughs> But that was that was real. Uh, yeah, was real. I know it was. I I did that. I said, listen, he was put it, putting it off forever. And then finally I put him on the spot and look what you know what? I know, but it was just fun because Kurt Kurt Mesker, who's uh, one of the writers for this show, said that you looked like a border collie. Like <laughs> it was very like, you know, you hear something, boy? <laughs>